Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you a simple move that can stop you coming over the top and this is something that you can apply straight out on the golf course. So welcome to today's video and welcome to the channel if you're a brand new viewer. I'm bringing you content every week that's going to help raise your game to the next level. So let's get into today's video. So today's video is all about a simple concept and move you can do to stop coming over the top. This is something I want you to try with a 7-iron and then build into the rest of your game because I think if you were learning something new, you'd start with a club that was a little bit easier to do and a little bit kind of more confident with the club that you were, then most people would pick their seven iron and then we'll apply it to a driver as well. So today's video is gonna show you how to stop coming over the top. So the over the top move is when we see somebody make that move in transition where the shaft steepens, this club gets over plane, and then this path travels left. And these people generally struggle with a slice. So missing this ball for a right hander way off to the right of target. Now, I think a lot of the time people make this move is because we stand on this side of the golf ball and it's almost an effort and a rush to get to the golf ball. And a lot of the time when you make people make the opposite scenarios, then they start to have some great success. So what I'm gonna talk about here is that most people that make an over the top move make an under and over move. We're gonna talk about today how we can make an over and under move and really start to learn to how we have to control the face if we're gonna shallow the shaft and create the opposite scenario. Because ultimately, if you were to make a move which then was under plane and we didn't have the correct face, we could actually cause ourselves some more issues. We could actually cause ourselves to hit some push slices way off to the right of target and ultimately we've got the same miss we've got that same miss off to the right so we need to understand what we're going to do in order to control this face and create and picture the brand new move so what i've done here is i've set up a drill with an alignment stick and what the plan of this drill is is to create the opposite scenario so i mentioned before a lot of people that make that over the top move create an under an overplaying scenario, cause them to have that over the top move. So if we wanna get rid of that move, we need to create that opposite scenario. So this is how I want you to do it. Now, these are all drills I would do off the golf ball. I wouldn't tend to hit golf balls with this alignment stick here. This is something that I do as part of your pre-shot routine. Imagine we've got this alignment stick, but I'm gonna have it there just to show you guys exactly what I'm trying to do. But we could imagine this as part of our pre-shot routine out on the golf course. So I want you to address the golf ball, uh, imaginary golf ball here, and have this alignment stick where it just runs just inside where the heel of your golf club runs. So it's slightly inwards on that arc, okay? I want you to then to make a move where we swing over the alignment stick, over exaggerate and move under the alignment stick, out to the right and around. Now, as we're doing this, we're making the complete opposite scenarios. We've not got a situation where the right shoulder's getting high, the right arm works over. We're creating the opposite scenario where the right shoulder's getting low, we're shallowing the shaft, we're strengthening it, we're swinging through to target. So we're creating opposite scenarios. Now, if we're gonna to learn to do this, we need to learn to do the things correctly to understand what we're doing with the face. Now, like I mentioned before, if we were to shallow the shaft and not strengthen the face, we could end up having the same scenario where we're missing this ball way off to the right of target. And that's not gonna be good for anybody. We're gonna get frustrated, we're gonna feel like we've got an even worse miss, and ultimately, we're not gonna enjoy our golf. So let's make this move again, but adding a little bit more to this concept. So address that gold, imaginary golf ball again, just inside of the heel line. We're gonna to swing to the top, over the alignment stick. We're gonna shallow the club. Now as we do this to get the club going under the alignment stick, I want you to think of the body turning towards target, so your belt buckle working towards target. And we're gonna try and feel as though our wrist is strengthening the club. So we're gonna feel as though we're gonna go knuckles to the ground or logo to the ground in transition. Now this will feel a little bit over exaggerated, a little bit strange, but you've got to understand if we're making the shaft work this way, we need to strengthen it accordingly to keep the club face square. If we didn't, then ultimately it's going to point way to the right of target. So we're looking for a move now, we're going to add another layer to it, where we swing over the alignment stick, under the alignment stick, knuckles to the ground, out to the right. So you can see here I'm creating opposite scenarios 
And I like to do this where I keep the whole body moving, not just with the arms, because I think it's a lot more pliable when you get over the golf ball. So again, to the top, strength and shallow, under the alignment stick, out to the right of target. So we've got boundaries to work to. We know we're not creating an over move. We're creating a feeling of up to the top, strength and shallow, come through to target. So let's hit this 7-9 away and then let's get into driver and talk about how we can do the exact same thing. So I mentioned before we could do this as part of our pre-shot routine. So I'm going to, you're going to leave this here, but as part of your pre-shot routine you're going to imagine it's here. So first stage of your pre-shot routine, as you know if you watch this channel a lot, we like to swing up, exaggerate the move, come through to target. The second one would just be me playing the shot, so picturing that draw over the golf ball, hit this one away. Like that. So I'm someone that struggles with getting steep in transition, so this is a perfect drill for me. And I love the idea of going, okay, well I've got boundaries to work to here in practice, but this is something I could imagine and apply straight into my pre-shot routine, because we all know, we get out on the golf course and it's then hard to apply what we've done on the range. So doing this as part of your pre-shot routine, doing this as part of a drill as well, and marrying them together, we're going to hopefully see some instant results out on the course. So before we move on to driver, let's just summarise what we've talked about with 7-iron. So with 7-iron, we talked about the feeling we want in transition. We want that feeling of the shaft working underneath the alignment stick and really feeling as though we're strengthening that face accordingly. We're not making a move where it works over plane. We're making a move now which club works under plane and we strengthen that club and strengthen that club face accordingly because we need to understand that relationship. If we're going to shallow the shaft and we're going to shallow it relative to where you've had it if you're someone who's been an over the top move. We need to strengthen that face to keep that relationship together. So now let's get into driver and just talk about how we can do the exact same drill but apply it to the big stick. Now on to driver, the club that we all want to get this move correct with because we feel it's really costing us a lot of distance out on the golf course. Now for a lot of people it will. It'll be very detrimental to distance, accuracy and especially when we've got a scenario like this hole here where we have out of bounds on the right, it's really going to put us in some fear because we're going to fear missing it way off to the right. So how can we apply this drill to driver to stop you coming over the top? So this move looks very similar to what we did with the iron before. We're going to address that golf ball so it's running just inside where your hosel of the shaft is. So this area of the golf club. We want to feel again we make an over, strength and shallow, belt buckle towards target, swinging out to the right. And again, we're going to do it as a whole move. Over the alignment stick, strength and shallow, under the alignment stick, pose and hold that finish. So you can see here, imagine you were making a trace of where this club head was travelling. This club head was travelling like this, over exaggerated, not like this. So going back to the start of the video, we're talking about how we can create the complete opposite scenarios. And I'm a really big firm believer that we over exaggerate that in our pre-shot routine slash practice, we get over the golf ball, we may not find exactly where we want to be, but we'll find that middle ground and we'll find that area where we're not as much over the top. Now, if you're someone who is over the top, I think you've got to think of this as a progressive process to improve that situation. It's not going to suddenly go from here to really get it into that slot nicely. It's going to take some time and take some time learning the concept of shallowing that shaft and strengthening that face to keep that relationship together. And this is a really good framework to work to. Remember, when we address this in this imaginary golf ball as part of our pre-shot routine or as part of our practice, we're really looking to have it just inside the heel or just inside this hosel area of the golf club. Now we're trying to feel, we go over the alignment stick, strength and shallow, under alignment stick, out to the right. And again, this may look very over exaggerated, but we need to find that to help us find that middle ground. So let's hit that driver away. We'll do our pre-shot routine, imagining this is here, to the top, strength and shallow, out to the right. Over for our next practice swing is an actual shot swing, picturing that draw, over the golf ball now, we're going to hit this one away. A little bit like that.
Not my best shot, but I was really trying to focus on making that move. Now, like I said before, I wouldn't recommend leaving that there when you're hitting a shot. I would have that as part of your feeling and as part of your pre-shot routine. Imagine me there, and then a part of your practice, I would make some over-exaggerated swings off the golf ball, step in, hit a shot, come back, make the over-exaggerated move, step in, hit a shot. So when you're doing that in your practice, you're making far less swings, but hopefully you're getting a lot more out of it. I always think working smart, so working towards something and working towards a specific move and having a framework to do that will really help you apply that straight out onto the golf course and see some instant results. So there we go, that is today's video. And that is today's video, it's gonna help you eradicate that over the top move. We knew what the concept was. We Everybody that has the over the top move, we're classifying that as that under and over move, but specifically that over move in transition. So we've said, okay, how can we flip that and create the opposite scenario? How can we make a situation where we try and make an over and under move and understand what we've got to do to keep the shaft shallowing and the face square accordingly. So we've got to feel like we strengthen that face and we know that feeling. Now, I really like doing that with the alignment stick because it gives you a good sense of where we are. And remember, placing that just inside the heel line on the driver and with the iron, it's going to be a good place to really get the over-exaggerated feeling of the right shoulder working lower, not right shoulder working over and that's really going to give you a good understanding of what the body's doing, what the club's doing and ultimately help train the opposite scenario. Thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. If you love this content guys don't forget to comment down below and let me know what's helping you improve your golf game mostly on my channel but also don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the bell notification to not miss any of the next content.